How do you like it now? SMFMMTs. What does this refer to? The XAL.X called the Amex Airline Index. That's all your wonderful little airplanes right here that are having to pay higher fuel costs because of your friends in Libya. But this has been a multi-weekly reversal here. It's not like it just started. These are the key names. How are they going to pass the higher jet fuel costs that they have to absorb back to the U.S. and global consumer? Okay? So the problem is that in the short term, if we do get a resolution, it would only be short-lived. The thing about it is that blue line is crossed over the red line, weekly blue line cross over the weekly 20-week red week. That is bare, bare, bare to the 50-week moving average. And let me tell you something. If they don't come out with a resolution very quickly, that means that the airline industry did pair off some of those $9 billion a year losses back when we had really some big problems that they were able to leverage up some of those earnings and whatnot and all the loaded fees that they have they were able to manipulate you all right back here in 2009 at the low but back in the 2010 when they finally started to produce a profit and they were able to pass on those costs and able to add every dang fee in the world so the consumers got no reason to have to pay it and the thing about it is, if they're going, if the airlines can't pass on that cost and then price gouge you for every fee, oh, you take something on, you got to pay a fee. You got a certain amount of weight, you got to pay a fee. Everything's a fee, 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 fee. And guess what? That is another thing about inflation is trying to pass on how are they going to keep the earnings here. This is a multi one week, two week, three week, four week, five week, six week, seven. This is an eight week freaking reversal on the airlines. They're toasted. Long before Libya became a problem, people were already selling into it. How the airlines are going to fare this time around throughout the rest of 2011 and 2012 and how those earnings and how they're going to keep the yield on those earnings well guess what I don't have to fly anywhere right now and I don't have to pay their high loaded packed fees either so once again bear market reversal end of story bear 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 weekly reversal do I get it they better live up to those earnings. And they better be able to live up to the higher jet fuel for the foreseeable future. 